All right then, so I'm hoping by now you already have Node.js installed on your computer. If not, go and install that first of all, then come back. Now in the background, I've got Atom, my text editor open, and I've created this empty folder called GraphQL Playlist. Now, there's nothing in this whatsoever at the minute, but what I have done inside Commander, you can use whichever terminal you wish, I've navigated to that folder right here. So the first thing we want to do is create a folder called server because we'll keep all of our server side code inside that folder. So to make a folder or a directory from the command line, I'm going to say mkdir and then the name of that folder. So this will be called server. Alternatively, you can just right click and create a new folder. Um, anyway, that makes this server folder. So now we'll cd into the server folder. And the first thing we want to do is initialize a node project. Now to do that, we type npm init, which is going to ask us a series of different questions about this project. You can just enter through most of them. You don't need to change anything. You can if you wish, but there we go. Now that is going to create inside this server folder a package.json file. And this is going to keep track of the different dependencies that we have for this project. So the first thing that we want to do is create an express application. And to do that, we're going to need to install the express app. So let's open up this again and install that. I'm just going to clear out so we have some room and we'll type in npm install express. Now, dependent on the version of npm that you have, you may need to type in the flag hyphen hyphen save. Um, if you have a newer version, you don't have to, but older versions you do have to. If you're unsure, then just type in double dash save, and that's going to save this to our dependencies in package.json. So once that's installed, it's going to track it right here. We can see express, and it's also going to create this package lock.json file as well. Don't worry about that, completely normal. This is just another way to track our dependencies. So we also have this node modules folder. That's where our express module that we just installed is living at the minute. But what we want to do now is create a new file to kick off our express application. So inside server, I'm going to right click and go to new file and call this file app.js. And then inside here, the first thing we want to do is require that package we just installed. So I'm going to store this in a constant and call it express and set it equal to require and then express. And again, if you're sitting there scratching your head thinking you don't know what's going on at all, then I don't think you're quite ready for this course. I'd advise you instead to go and check out my Node.js for beginner series. The link is down below. Anyway, for the rest of us, we've required express now so we can set up that app. I'm going to store this in a constant called app and set it equal to express, which is a function. So we'll invoke that function to create our app. All right, cool. So the next thing we need to do is tell our app to listen to a specific port on our computer. So the way we do that is by saying app.listen, and then we're going to listen to port 4000, but it's up to you what you want this to be. Then we're going to pass through a callback function so that when this occurs, when our app begins to listen to that port, this callback function is going to fire and it's going to tell us in the console that it's listening for requests. So this callback function is an ES6 function. So that's just parenthesis, arrow, and then curly braces. And inside what we're going to do is console.log. And then inside, now listening for requests on port 4000. All right, cool. So now we've installed Express. We've set up our Express app, and we've told it to listen to a particular port right here. So if I run this app now, then we should see this message logged to the console. So I'm going to go down to the console over here and type node and then the name of the file to run it, which is app. And we should see that message now listening for requests on port 4000. Cool. So I'm going to press control C to exit out of that process. Now we have our express app up and running and listening for requests. Now, just quickly, I've installed a package on my computer called Nodemon. Now, what Nodemon allows you to do is type instead of node app, type in Nodemon app. And now we don't have to keep restarting the server every time we want to make changes to the application. This command right here is going to do exactly the same thing as node app, but it's going to listen for changes or watch for changes 
to our files and then when it detects a change it's going to automatically restart the server for us so that we don't have to so it just speeds up our development so to install that all you want to do is cancel out this process and say npm install nodemon and then hyphen g to install it globally on your computer and when you've done that you can now type out nodemon and then app or whatever the name of your file is okay so there we go we've created that express app now the next step is to go ahead and start to set up our graphql and we'll do that in the very next tutorial